have our triangles. Mm -hmm. You want to know something funny about this is that you can keep putting triangles in those triangles. Look at this. You make a little one, and then another little. That makes a lot of stories. It makes a snowflake. Yeah. It makes a bunch of little stars, just like the one you made. See? Well, you can do that. You can keep putting little ones even on those little ones. See? See? You can do that if you kept zooming in and zooming in and zooming in. You can do that forever. But upside look, down? Upside down, sideways, yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Now, if you look at this, see this piece of paper? Look real close at this. Look at this one. See how exactly what you said was exactly right? Okay. So if you made one of those, did you notice when you put, go ahead and finish putting stars all the way around it. Okay. When you finish putting all of them around the one, yeah. see how it made one of these? So, Mike. What's going on, Mike? Man. What's going on? I'm uh, teaching a physics class. <laughs> right on. Quantum physics, and uh, um, there's going to be a little humor part of the uh, stand up. Yeah. Stand up yeah. lecture part. My, uh, if you care to join us, this is a uh, um, frapple based math. Yeah. My. Uh, math. Hold on just a second. I got to have a beer first. Um, yeah, my, uh, my nephew, my sister's son, yeah. he's, uh, he's a. He's a. Um, He's a physicist. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what is what is Matt, baby? He's a professor at University of Reno at 20, 21 years old of physics. He's a, he's a he's brilliant. Yeah, he's into some shit. Some I mean some I mean what was he talking about that stuff that he was doing now it was like he's been all into like astrophysics and. The whole whole nine yards, but I, I'm um, I'm recording this math lesson so yeah. we can tell the Earth, Earth people um, yeah. how to really count because that's what's really going on. Right. Is zero a number? No, no, it's nothing. It's a number, but it's nothing. Here, it, how can you use it in your counting system then? Here, give me nothing. Right. Can okay. you have nothing? No, it's just nothing. Nothing. Okay. How many is this? How many is that? One. I mean, nothing. No, how many, how many pieces of paper? One. One. Actually, it's two. Oh, yeah. Okay, you didn't see the other side. So if that's the answer, then what's this? One. It has to be one. No, this is... Two, yeah. No, it's four. Four, okay. Because there's two sides. Oh, so, I get it because so, that one has two and that one has two and two plus okay. two. Okay. Imagine you're inside a basketball. Okay? A big basketball. You can fit in there real nice. You can poke holes in the basketball. And look all the different directions you want. Up, down, left, or right. You could look all day, but you would never, ever, ever be able to see the dimples that are on the outside of the golf. Uh, of the basketball, right? Yeah. So that's like the other side. So it doesn't matter whether you're inside a building or whether you use your little basketball. Have you ever heard anybody say that, you know, we all live in our own little bubble? Yes. Well, that bubble little, literally starts right there in your head, right in your brain, and it extends out like this. So you can imagine a, a basketball inside a basketball inside a basketball inside a basketball. Like even you could poke holes in the basketball all day and line up with other holes and you could look all the way out to, to the North Star. Constellation, all right. Well, that is literally what's going on. But when you're looking at something, we're staring at the wall. Yeah. Okay? When we see the wall, we count the wall as one. But remember, there's another side of it. Like the other side. Okay, there really is another side that we can't see. Okay? When when you made your triangle that's up and your triangle that's down, 
where were you standing when you decided which one of those triangles was pointed up or pointed down? Because it matters. It really does matter. Because if, uh, if you're standing in the middle of this, make each one of these. But see, here's, here's the deal. See how you just made yours with, uh, with just starting off with the triangle? Hold up. We make each one of these lined up so we can see it, right? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. 
So it depends on where you're standing when you look at something. Yeah. It's called perspective. That's what um, Einstein said about relativity. Yeah. When uh, it depends on where you're at. But did you notice anything there? It goes up, down, up, down, up, like down. In, like in a circle. Well, like everything, down, like, like a wave in the ocean. Then like this one. So if you're if you're counting numbers, okay, we're we're taught you know that counting one, two, three, four, five, six, you know that just straight, right? Well, that's not really what's going on. What's going on is more like that wave. So if you have one on up, then you have to have two down, and then three up, and then four down, right?
Okay, so that's the expansion set. That's One where everything. One side touching or not? Whether it's no, these are separate numbers. Because remember how we went around the outside? I mean, that one looks like it just says one, two, three, four, you know, like this, right? But that's not how it goes. It goes from here, out to here, to just these pointed Right? That's separate. And the inside set that's making it smaller. Okay, in there. See how it's starting to look like a flower? So those two sets of numbers are different. So everything you look at, see this, uh, I think it's cool. What numbers, what numbers that? The um the three 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 three. Something real important, and the, the key issue is. Uh, Do you want some scissors? I have laminating sheets too. Oh you know wow! Them? Laminating sheets would be cool. We can do that in a minute. You never, you never got your uh, here. I just have to do dinner and stuff. That's yeah. why. I, if you can I can, I can get this. Them. I can get this. I'm almost done. In fact, this is the key point. Okay. No, you're fine. You guys are fine. So, yeah, but I just can't really hurt your feet that much. Yeah. Well, that's that's fine because this class is for them. Okay. Good. Okay, so if you have the number three, right? Ah, oh, the string. String theory. Have you heard about string theory? Well, this isn't exactly string theory. How many pieces of string are there? Two. One. One. Actually, both answers are correct because there is the inside of the of the string, right? Like we were talking earlier. But if there's one, what do we do if we want to make two? We double it. Yeah, double. Okay, that's two. Now, did you notice anything? We had to cut it in half at the same time. Yeah. It got smaller. So if you double it again, two double is now what? Two times two. It's four. And then double four. Double four is six, eight. Okay. Eight is correct, and then double that is sixteen. But we only have nine numbers. So what's six plus one? Six plus one seven. Very good. What's sixteen double? Sixteen double, um sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen, you've got paper. Three, thirty-three. No thirty-two. What's three plus two? Five. Very good. So, remember our picture? All right. Nine, 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 nine. Yep, this is the number nine. Nine, the number nine will always make the number nine. What's eight plus one? Nine. Add up those two numbers. Four. Four and what? Four and um six. No, here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 
It's a seven and two. Oh yeah. Nine. Six and three. Ten. Okay. Nine. Six and three. It's pretty simple. The answer nine. will always be nine. But look, five and four, four and five, three and six, nine. Seven and two. Isn't it? You remember you ever seeing that on Sesame Street? Mm -hmm. The count says nine is the magic number. I I'm not, I I don't I didn't watch that. You didn't watch that one? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. I know, but I don't remember. Do you remember? Do you remember how we were just making the string go from two to four to one to two to four to eight, right? Okay. Well, where have we got? The number two. Gotta be here somewhere. The number one. Let's start with the number one. It's smaller. Right here. Let's try and get them in order. One, one, one. One, one, one. What, what will the number one make? One will always make two. So add them up. What do we got there? Nine, nine plus. Nine plus two. Nine plus two. Three, 
One and five. Five, six. Nine and
the six, and our number nine are different from those other numbers, right? So, let's get back to where we started here. Start with the number nine and do this. What triangle, find the number one and pick which triangle you want to do. Triangle that's pointed up or triangle that's pointed down? Triangle that's pointed up. Okay. Which one's that? 28, two. Two. Oh, on the outside set, I'm sorry. Outside set. Oh, the outside ones, yeah. Nine. We could do it from the inside, but I don't want to confuse it. So that one right there, that's the one that's pointed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for ones always make what's, where should we go from there? One double this. Two. Okay, so where's the two triangle that's pointed up? One, 
one circuit. So you know, I'll show this to the camera here. Okay. So we went one, double to two, right? Right. Two, double to four. Four, double to eight. Eight, double yeah. to sixteen, which is really seven. Sixteen doubled is thirty-two, which is one. And look, see how it kind of kind of looks like a Volkswagen W. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, you start here. Maybe. See this? Yeah. Go ahead. You do it though. Yeah, but here, that's what I'm that's what I'm showing you on this. Look. Do it just like we did here. Start. Start with the uh, with one. Here, look. Over here. Very yeah. good. Yep. Except, except, look. If you start down here at the bottom and go one, two, four, eight, seven. By one, but see, look. Here's what happens. You see, this is our number nine. Look, our one, our two, four, and eight are all on that side, right? Okay. And our one, five, and seven are all on this side, right? Okay. So the even numbers are over here. And the odd numbers are over here, right? Well, if we just did that with the triangles that are pointed up, should we do it with the triangles that are pointed down? Sure. But why would we do that? Well, if we did one one way, we have to no, do it the other way. No, because it would be upside down a little. Yeah. Very good, because if you did it upside down, then. Then it it's going to be it exactly it the same way you just it did it. Yeah. Where's the red one? Red one is. Mm -hmm. 
but it was really just the Volkswagen W and the Volkswagen W going from the 1 to the 2 to the from 4. From the upside down one and the... Yep. We'll draw one that way. We don't have to try and figure out how to draw it upside down. Just turn the paper over and draw the exact same thing again, right? Right. But do you see this in here? Do you, do you see the little stars that are here? Yeah. Do you see how these are um, starting to form? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't... Uh, I don't suppose you could uh, tell where, if that one's there, that one's there. Okay, here we go. You've got to kind of think outside the box, but really there is no box. I always didn't like that same one. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to be putting restrictions on your thinking. How is that supposed to work? Yeah. So if you keep turning this and do uh, our little Volkswagen Ws, right? Right. Well, look at this. You see all the little teeny ones that showed up? But we didn't start out drawing them. We just started drawing a big triangle and then doubling it. One doubles two, just like a piece of string, right? Actually, it is a map 
map. It is a map to everywhere. Yeah. But here's the deal. Um, you guys aren't just getting into school. Did you know that they that when you count something that that's not all there is to it? Mm -hmm. They just they just decided to call something. Okay, number one, and we decided we're going to count, right? Well, what if that's not right? Because I'll tell you what, the number one, or the number two, or the number three, is missing a whole bunch of information. Okay. This is one, right? Where is it and what time is it, are you going to see it? You know I have it, you know I have it, but where is it? It's one, but where is it? It's right there on the kitchen table. Okay, so now it's one and we know where it is, right? Well, what time is it? If you're going to meet the pen here for lunch on the table, you'd have to know what time it was you were supposed to meet the pen, right? Or you could never have lunch. So when you call something one, and you can call one by X, Y, and Z, we can put it right precisely on the table right here. We can take our clock out. That's going to take three numbers right there, right? Where it is this way on the table, where it is that 